<laughs> Welcome back. Felicity Jones and Army Hammer are the stars of the new movie On the Basis of Sex. Felicity plays Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Army plays her husband, Martin. The film takes place before Ruth's rise to the Supreme Court when she's a young lawyer struggling to be taken seriously because she is a woman. Take a look. Just tell me what you want. Nothing. I want nothing. I, I want you to go to work and wow your bosses that's and clients and be the youngest partner in the history of the firm. That's not fair. Then that's I want not you to walk me home, Marty, so I can sit in my corner and write a lesson plan to inspire the next no, generation of students to go forth and fight for equality. I don't understand why you're acting like that's such a bad thing. You're out there training the next generation of lawyers to change the world. Because that's what I wanted to do. Mm. Put my foot in my mouth. Yes. Uh, Listen to the Army. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I was going to say this must have been a lot of pressure because it's Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but I know you kind of had her blessing because she helped her nephew write the screenplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So she <laughs> no, 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 no. But I mean, you, she she sort of had her hands in. Yeah, it. yeah. Talked about it. Well, he's he's got a great story that he tells where he uh, he approached his aunt Ruth and he said, "Look, I, I'd really love to to write a script about this." Yeah. And she paused and said, "Well, if that's really how you want <laughs> to spend your time." <laughs> And then, and then he sort of gave her every draft, and she vetted it, and you know, approved it. Well, listen, there must there must be so there must be a lot of pressure to play anybody, but to play someone who's alive and to play someone of her stature must have just weighed heavy on you. How did you like try to get it right? Absolutely. I mean, it's really nerve wracking mm -hmm. taking on someone who is um, such an icon and who's so incredibly beloved. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm a real fan girl of her as yeah. myself. So um, it was just I, we were really fortunate to go and visit her and, and spend time with her and, and just get to know her on a personal level. What was that like? Yeah. You walk in the room and there's Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> uh, it's a, yeah, it was um, it was amazing. When we first went in, we were kind of all nervously waiting outside, yeah. outside her office. And then when we went in, she just couldn't take her eyes off Army Hammer. <laughs> 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 so, what, so she is a human. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so what was she like? What was she like in the end? She's just she's very very um, very open. Yeah. She's very um, obviously as you said she'd been. Um, it part of every process of the film sure. in its genesis. So um, she was very welcoming, and I, I think I read that she was she loved meeting you, but then was worried about you nailing the Brooklyn accent. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. but you did. Yeah, yeah. It was um, it was really helpful just uh, listening to all these recordings of her in court and and going through those, and I became obsessed with Ruth Bader Ginsburg's vowel sounds and, <laughs> and listening to that, that great Brooklyn um, sound that she has is, you, is wonderful. Were to you play. surprised to learn so? So much about her. I mean, the fact that like she finished first in her class in law school but couldn't get a job. I mean, all these kind of things that seem unheard of today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, she just had um, obstacles in her way mm -hmm. the entire time. She was constantly, you know, pushing upstream as, as people mm -hmm. didn't even, you know, the system wasn't designed for her to be there and she broke it and changed mm -hmm. it. But one of the cool things about this particular movie, it's a real moment in time. I think it's a love story with her husband, yeah. Marty Ginsburg, who obviously you know, it was unusual for the time, and he really supported her, and you see that. Yeah, he was, a, he was a really sort of progressive man. I mean, even by today's standards, and much more so by the standards of the 50s, 60s, and 70s, when husbands didn't cook and clean and take mm -hmm. care of the kids, but he also recognized the potential that his wife had and what she was going to do, so he was going to do anything to sort of facilitate it. On another quick note, uh, speaking of husbands and wives, you happen to have been at a pretty cool wedding not too long ago, Priyanka Chopra. Yeah, I couldn't Jonas. go because I, we were in Europe oh, doing oh, our press tour for oh. this, but my, but my wife, your Elizabeth, wife oh. and, and our daughter, Harper, went. Your daughter, she was, your daughter was a flower girl? She was one of the flower oh, girls in the wedding, yeah. How sweet! Yeah, because we, we were there for Priyanka and Nick's first date. So, you were? Oh. Yeah. So you knew in the beginning. Yeah, well, uh, we were sitting there and we kind of watched the two of them talking and we were like, hey, see what's going on. <laughs> like, yeah. And now they're married. So. Wow. That's what married people do. They look at other people they're like, oh, that seems interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, That's cute. Felicity Jones, Congrats, Army Hammer, thank you so much. The movie's called On the Basis of Sex. It's from our sister company, Focus Features, and it opens in select theaters Christmas Day and then nationwide January 11th.